Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new Huda Beauty Foundation. You probably heard about this foundation everywhere over the social media. I did receive an email from Huda Beauty asking me a few questions about me, like the color of foundation that I typically use. But over the weekend I've been in London where they already had the foundation in the store. so. I just couldn't help it. I had to grab a few colors. They were out of so many, so I only got a few of them. And later on, I will show you the ones that I have. So this foundation comes in 30 shades. It's called Fall Filter. You've got beige, you've got red undertones, you've got neutrals, and also golden. So these are the four categories of colors uh, that this foundation is available in. It says it will give you a flawless, long-lasting look in just one application. Hiding blemishes, conceals imperfections, and camouflaging dark circles. It's packed with refined pigments that makes uneven skin a thing of the past. Huda is giving you uh, some tips on how to apply it in case you want more of a medium coverage or more of a full coverage. For full coverage, she suggested to use uh, the brush. It's dirty because I've just applied the foundation. Uh, so she suggests to use the brush that she sells with this foundation. If you want more of a medium coverage look, then you should use a damp beauty blender. For this foundation, I'm going to apply it in front of you and I'm also going to do a wear test. I want to see how long it lasts and how it goes with all the other products that I'm using, like powder, concealer. So you're going to see later how this foundation applies to the skin and what I feel about it. I'm obviously wearing it right now. It has 135 grams and they sell it on their website with $40 but I think I've paid 35 pounds uh, in London. I don't remember exactly but I think it was 35. Although it dries to a radiant power finish if you have oily skin setting it with a thin layer of translucent powder gives the most incredible flawless all-day matte look. Now we're about to test that. So I'm going to start with a primer from Huda Beauty and uh, this is the Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. It comes with a pump. It says it has rose hip seed oil, so it might have a floral scent. But of course I wouldn't know that because I cannot really smell these kind of things. It feels really thick on the skin, like one of those heavy duty moisturizers. But I cannot say I dislike that actually because I've got really dry skin. I do I do feel some scent, but I don't know exactly to tell you what it is because uh, I was I cannot say I was born without the sense of smelling because I do smell some things or at least I think I can. Um, like for example coffee or uh, smoke like uh, cigarettes I uh, hate it but other than that like perfume cosmetics maybe if it's citrusy now we can go on with the foundation and I'm going to apply with the Huda Beauty uh, brush this is the way they recommend it in the foundation I got a few colors so I got creme brulee custard macaroon amoretti and toffee. Now I didn't really have the time to test it in there so that's why I got a few shades. I do know I'm gonna end up mixing them anyway so that's just normal for me. Since I do have five colors I decided to put them on my hand and let you know uh, how they look like. Okay so here we have creme brulee, custard, macaroon, amaretti, and toffee. As you can see, these are very, very pigmented and they have full coverage, guys. I feel like I am between colors all the time, so I'm going to mix creme brulee with amaretti. I think I've put way too much here on my hand. This is a very thick consistency, so it's not a liquid foundation, it's more like a cream, I would say. So I'm just going to dot it like this. And then I'm going to use the brush. So this is um, So this is not the kind of brush that you could buff it. You can it's more like a tapping 
situation. Wow, you guys, the coverage is just... And it's too bad that you cannot tell exactly the quantity that I've applied. Like, I've applied a tiny little bit. I still have a bunch left on my hand. There are still some imperfections in here, so I'm going to just come with a second layer. I would say you have to apply it pretty fast, else it's going to dry, but not as quick as, for example, the that Revlon, the color stay, that dries really fast. Wow, guys, I'm very impressed with the coverage. So she's saying that for a full coverage, you should use the brush and if you want more of a natural coverage you should go with a beauty blender with a damp beauty blender i think the skin so far it looks very good i still need to uh, apply my concealer and see how that goes together i'm going to do my usual mix between these two tarte shape tape concealer one is light sand and the other one is light medium although i think that this foundation could be used as a concealer as well I'm gonna apply them with a Sephora 57 brush. I don't have a beauty blender nearby, so I'm just going to take this brush and blend the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set this foundation with a Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use a 114 brush from Zoeva. I thought it would be only normal for me to test it with this powder because this is the one that I use the most. For the rest of my face, I'm going to take this Zoeva 90 brush. Now, to be honest with you, um, it does not look like I have nothing on my skin. You know, I can see I have foundation on my skin, basically because I've got these imperfections in here. But other than that, like on my forehead, nose, chin, it looks very good. I do feel it starts to crease already around my uh, my mouth. But we're going to do a wear test and we're going to see how this foundation lasts. I'm going to quickly go on with the rest of the makeup and I'm going to use Hula Bronzer to warm up my skin. And 127 brush from Zoeva. Next, I'm going to use the blush from MAC, and this is in the color Melba. I find this color to be universal. It looks good on everybody. I'm going to use a 126 brush from Zoeva. All the Zoeva brushes that I'm using in this tutorial are from the Phenomenon uh, collection. When I was in London, I got a few of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. These are the matte liquid lipsticks. And I actually prefer to get the mini version. This way I can test more colors and see exactly what I like. Although I rarely finish a liquid lipstick. So I got the nudes and I also got the reds. I feel like wearing a red. So I'm going to apply this color. It's called Famous. This is actually, I think, the second time I'm trying a liquid lipstick from Huda Beauty and I can tell you it's really liquidy. I don't know what to say about the lipstick. I feel like it takes quite a while to dry very liquidy and i find it kind of difficult to apply it especially if you're a beginner it would be so much easier if you would first um line the lips with a lip liner and then come with the liquid lipstick other than that i love the color i feel like this color looks so much better when it's not completely dry when, it, when it's dry, I don't see any spectacular color, but honestly, when you apply it and it's wet, it is exactly that deep berry, but like really, really deep, mauve berry lip. I wish it could stay uh, that color. I'm going to use this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Recently, I've uh, heard somebody from Hourglass that said this, this is not your typical 
highlighter. This is a powder that, you know, you can mix all the three colors. You've got three colors in here. Uh, just so that you can give uh, your skin a natural glow, like all over your skin. But I don't know about that. So I'm going to take my Anastasia A23 brush. And I'm just going to mix them all. It's a very subtle highlighter. But beautiful. If you're into something a little bit more like bling bling, then you will not like this. I would like to finish uh, the eye makeup and I'm going to use this E21 brush and I'm, I will apply this color right here, right at the base of my lower lashes. I'm going to apply some Huda Beauty lashes and these are in the style Samantha. I'm going to finish this look with this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist because this is my favorite skin mist. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do a wear test. I don't know for how long I'm going to wear this makeup but I'm very curious to see how it looks like a little bit later. It's Sunday so I'm just going to be around the city, walk around eat something I'm in the middle of the street and I need to hold this microphone like I'm presenting the news or something but anyway checking out my foundation looks really good it's been about five hours or so since I'm wearing it come on closer I'm very impressed with this, with this foundation it's currently about 6 p.m. Actually, let me show you. No, it's 5.30 p.m. And the sun is about to go down in the next few minutes. So uh, I better, I don't know, do some push-ups or something to really put this foundation on test. This is fun. I mean, <laughs> every half an hour, I'm like, okay, it's good. We're good. Come on. Like, we, look, there is a little bit of light. It looks really good. From the Arc de Triomphe, we're about to give you live an update. The foundation looks absolutely stunning. I mean, come, come closer. Can you get like a really close shot? It looks really, really good. Alright guys, this was my review for the Huda Beauty foundation. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook if you want to see more about my life here in Paris. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to... He is Montanesco. And he just woke up and he does not let me film. You either want to come in nor you want to go out. Like, you, you, you just can't make up your mind. I would say he's not the friendliest cat. Does it feel like it's friendly? No, he's not. But I still want to kiss you.